one of the more like kind of esoteric things that we talk about is you get in the pool and everything else kind of fades away. It's it's a nice sport, like getting in the water, there's something about it that's that's just beautiful. I remember going to the pool when I was younger and playing with friends, we'd like make up games with it. And it's I mean it's just a blast and we just couldn't get enough of it. And then I came here and I found underwater hockey and it's like there's a sport that you can play with friends, you know, at a set time and get in the water and just have, have everything else kind of kind of fade away for, for a time. Be a kid again. Ready? Go! My name is John O'Saunders, underwater hockey player representing Team USA. I had someone actually, I think like a week ago, say, it's really similar to hockey, but it's it's I would say it's extremely different. Um, but team sport played with usually six on six players with snorkeling gear and puck with a lead weight in it. So the puck goes to the bottom of the pool, you're holding your breath, and you're playing a sport with teammates. Get it started what? so we can keep the ball. Yeah. Yeah, on the trail. The trail is take a minute. The water's not too bad tonight. No, it's, it's a great. little bit better it's, than normal. It's just about perfect. Jeez. Before I tried it, I was like, I, I think I'm into this. Like, I, I'm gonna, I, I'm probably gonna be coming for a while and trying to get better at this because it's, I mean, away from the ocean, what, what, what better is there to do for someone who loves, loves water so much? Six up. All right, let's go. Worlds for underwater hockey is the the championship where every every country in the world has a chance to go and compete. The best players from that country will be selected to, to make their team and represent their country. For I mean, I was excited. I was stoked. Um, I was like, this is great. Like I'm I'm really excited that I that I made the team. Um, I was excited for the other guys that made the team. I mean. Like I said, it, it felt really good. It felt like, wow, you know, like like I was good enough to make it, and and I, now it's like I want to be the best I can to try and to try and make the team better. Pass it back and jump over, and you set up a play to where they have an option to go to you or to go the other way. Whereas if you have to, if you're holding it, kind of looking back, you don't have that option. You can't really, you don't know what's going on. I would say I'm I'm definitely in the top in the top group um, uh, of of players, um, and and everyone who made the team is in the top. You know. Um, so it's 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 kind of humbling. Like, if I'm the best, how can I be giving? How can I be giving back to the to the sport, to the to the the family kind of? So we're constantly cycling that way. Yeah. So if I come straight up, you're trying to go up, up ahead of me to cover whoever whoever's got the puck. Uh, I think over the years, as he's gained more and more skill and more and more, I guess, prestige in the underwater hockey community, uh, he's become even more of a leader and a coach. So we we do it. We do the team thing. Usually he's on one side coaching those folks, I'm on the other side, and I think we got a real good thing going here. This duo right here has been playing together for, what, 12 years? We'll say 12. 12 sounds good. I like 12. 2006. <laughs> that's 14. Wait a minute, that's 14, isn't it? Hey, you want to borrow my stick? 14 you years. You want to borrow my stick? Maybe. Dave, yeah. Yeah, so Dave, I mean, he's, he's my best buddy, so. Yeah, we was what everybody was. I had him lined up, and I was like, "Yeah, he's, he's never late." Usually we we play with each other, we mess around with each other. Like he's he's real, he's very good. Um, he taught me he taught me so much about hockey. You know, he taught me a lot. You know, he he kind of took me and said, "I want to work with you." You know, I want you know. At some point, um, he's like, I, "I see potential, and I want to work with you in the in the sport." I tell him I'm responsible for all of it. I, I taught him everything. Sure. 14 years we've been to tryouts together for the national team, traveled all over the country together, and now we always have to play against each other in practice. It's horrible. Uh, yeah, I could, I could get mushy and say it goes deep. You know, he's my best buddy, and uh, to see him uh, to see him playing as well as he does and to hear people uh, holding his name up that high, you know, there's, there's a, a neat feeling of, yeah, that's my buddy there. It's, 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 I'm proud of it.